So what is up y'all, it's your girl Young Africana and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this wet and wavy reddish wig from start to finish. I'll show you guys how to install and style this hair. This hair already came pre-colored so all my beginners that are wanting a colored wig go ahead and continue watching this video. So today's hair sponsor is from Hermosa Hair. I have their number 3 red brown 13 by 4 frontal body wave wig this is in their color the reddish brown and 24 inches and i did tint and bleach the knots off camera right now what i'm doing is i'm gonna go ahead and just use my garnier fructis um sleek and shine serum and i am just spreading that throughout the entire hair and prepping it for the styling so to achieve this crimped wet and wavy hair i am using my crimper this is my bedhead crimper that i did get from ulta um, you could go ahead and get that from your available Ulta and it's just a purple colored one um, So right now I'm just crimping the hair in sections as you guys can see I already have like a good chunk of the hair already crimped and how I'm crimping is I'm gonna go after every last crimp and going to start a new crimp Just so everything could be aligned and well and I also like to make sure that within my section or my row that I cut out the hair I like my crimps to pretty much align with each other so that it is nice and uniform then hopefully you guys see what i'm talking about once you guys see the rest of the row that i've done but my crumbs start at the same exact place all across just so it's nice and cohesive and i curl all the way until the end and i do have it on the hottest setting and i'm gonna just go ahead and do this all around the hair usually with crimps i would use like a a, a hairspray before I start crimping just to um, let the crimp stay but I'm just looking for that nice loose wet and wavy type style and I am going to finger comb it at the ending so I do not need any type of you know reinforcement or hairspray to make it hard because I do plan on spreading it out And this is how this row looks, as you guys can see, the crimps are all aligned and uniformed. Now I am doing like a no part part type of look. I just want to give like that little flipped over type of look. So um, in that little section where I am flipping it over, I'm just curling the hair backwards. I don't know where this logic came from, to be honest for me, um, but I didn't want to part, which is why I just, you know, kind of pushed it to the back, like how I'm going to swoop it just so I can curl it and yeah, it kind of just falls together. Because if I did the crimp sideways, it will kind of give it a part and I don't want to part at all. And overall, these are the finished results. As you guys can see, we have that no part part effect going on. And I did hot comb the edges just so it could be all nice and slick back. Now on to the install, I do have my ball cap method already done, and if you guys aren't familiar with the ball cap method and want to learn, I do have a video um, that I posted um, before this video on how to do that. I have an updated ball cap method video up, so if you want to see that, go ahead and um, check out my channel. 
but what I'm doing right now is I am just making sure that the wig is nice and properly aligned with my hairline and I'm going to go ahead and cut some slits at the temples of the lace just so I can have my lace nice and prepared for the glue. Now once I have the wig position where I want it to be at, I just flip it back and I'm now gonna go ahead and use my Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive. I'm just going in sections, so I'm starting off with the middle part first and the side second. And um, I'm doing just only two layers and I'm using just the middle piece of my rat tail comb to smear out the glue so it's nice and flat. And then I'm just going to go ahead and work on the sides as well. And you want to make sure that these layers dry completely dry before you apply the next layer. And when I say dry, I actually mean dry clear. So once you don't see any more of the white of the glue, you are now ready to apply the next layer or to apply your lace onto the glue. And like I said, I'm only doing two layers of this, so once this first layer dry completely clear, I'm applying my second layer. Now, once my second layer is dry, now onto applying the lace. I like to work in sections again, so I'm starting off with the middle first, because that's where we glue down first. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the lace and the hairline in front of the glue. And then I'm going to follow suit for the sides. And again, you could just tell where the glue is at just to see, like when you see that it's shiny, you just wanna make sure that the hairline is in front of the shininess. And then once you have it placed where you want it to, that's when you go ahead and use your hands just to press it down and to secure it. Now I'm gonna go in with the eyebrow razor and cut in a jagged motion right next to my hairline. You wanna get as close to the hairline as possible just so that it's not like excess lace lingering around. And because we did place the lace in front of the glue, you are going to have some excess lace just flipped up. Um, you can either decide to cut it off or to glue it down, but I like to glue it down. Um, just because it kind of fits like my hairline already, so I kind of don't want to mess it up. Um, so once I'm done cutting it off or cutting off the excess lace with my eyebrow razor, I'm going to go in with some glue on the back of my hand and um, the metal piece of my rat tail comb. And I like to call this part detailing. So I'm going to go ahead and just detail. Just go into the places that I don't have any glue at. Thank you. 
Now onto the baby hairs. I'm just carving out some baby hairs at the temples and also the tendrils of my ears. And I'm just using my hot comb on the hottest setting just to press it down so it lays nice and flat down. Now for an extreme melt, I'm going to go in with my Fantasia Spritz and I'm just going to go ahead and spray that on my fingers. Well, I first tried to do it on my fingers, but I got, I got over it and just I started spraying it on the hairline itself. But you want to spray this on your hairline and then use your elastic band just to wrap it down once you are done spraying your entire hairline and letting it sit for about 30 minutes so it can really melt in your lace. Now once the 30 minutes is up, I'm going to go ahead and unravel it and this is how it looks. I am now going to go ahead and cut my baby hairs and I'm cutting my baby hairs in an upwards diagonal motion or at least for the ones that are at my temple and then for the ones at my ears, I'm just going to cut in a downward jagged um, or diagonal motion. Now I'm using my T-Vix iron and I'm just going to go ahead and curl my baby hairs upwards to prep it for me to um, carve them and swoop them. And I'm using my spritz again and my baby hair brush and I'm going to swoop and hold just to form those baby hairs. And then to further on with um, the baby hairs just to make sure that it's nice and flat. I'm going in with my Erica J Fluff Stuff Mousse and I'm just going to apply that and then swoop it. And I'm going to do this for all of my baby hairs. And then to finish it off, I'm going to apply some of the mousse onto my actual hairline and where the lace is exposed because again, this helps further my melt as well and makes the lace look extra melted. And once that's done, I'm going to go back in with my elastic band and just let that sit until it dries for about 15 minutes. And then I went ahead and did my makeup off camera and now I'm just going to go ahead and prepare to finish off the styling of my hair. As you can see I got that wet and wavy va va boom type of vibe going on and I'm loving that. So I'm going to go in with the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Serum and I'm going to spread that on my hands and then use my hands to kind of separate um, some of the curls so it just looks more wavier and more um, you know ununiformed. Again, really want that nice and wet and wavy type look. And now I'm going to go ahead and just comb out my baby hair because I love my baby hairs to be nice and fluffy.
and once i am done playing around with the baby hairs and playing around with the hair these are the finished results i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe to my channel if you have not go ahead and click that bell to get notified of when i post my videos and i hope to see you guys in the next segment by the way comment down some green and orange hearts if you are at the ending of this video and are subscribed so i'll catch you guys in the next one later